what's going on guys welcome back to the channel uh it's been a while weather hadn't been really that great and uh, i do all my stuff pretty much outside um but today we're going to be making some crosses with uh hearts that are interchanged together so hope you guys enjoy so what you got to have here is uh it takes five horseshoes to do the cross part and it takes four to do the hearts um right here i've already got one heart uh tacked together of course i didn't know i was running out of gas and wire so this is all i got done the other day so i'm gonna <clears throat> i'm gonna grind this back out um probably hit the back and then i'll grind that front out and make it you know nice and neat this one in here. I'm going to put it in my bag. But it's really not that hard to make a heart, guys. Let's see here. Yeah, it'll just kind of go like this right here. I'll have to fill in that gap. But, yeah, that'll work. Um, Let me get these laid out and I'll show you what I did. Oh, before I get to that, what I did I, is I heated these up with my acetylene torch. I didn't cut nothing. I just, you know, turned the gas on, heated it up, and I bent them. I tried to make them all the same. There's two. You'll do two like these, and then you'll do three like that. You'll notice. Still a little warm. See, it's bent the opposite way. So, when that's laid like that, when you put them together like that, see they line up, that's on top, that's on top, that's on bottom, that's on bottom. But I'll get these all laid out like they're going to go, and uh, I'll show you a picture of one that I've already done here in just a second. Well, let me get these laid out and get my welder drug out here, guys. All right, guys, I got the, uh, I went ahead and put the, uh, all the horses, shoes together, tacked them up real good. I'm gonna grind it all back down, but I'll give you an idea of what we're looking at here. Here it is. So I gotta grind all that down. Like this ain't a bunch of just slag. It's just, it's all sitting on there. It's come off, but. Give you an idea of what it looks like before it's all sanded down and painted. Like I said, it's on there. So that's how those go. So I gotta sand all them down real good. Uh, crawl. Here we go in here, hang it up, make sure it's straight, because if not, guess what? back out let's see here oh yeah just like it's supposed to be all right i'm gonna sand this down and put the hearts on it and i'll weld them in and uh, we'll sand it back down again and we'll paint it black and i was thinking about going with the uh purplish pink on the hearts we'll see valentine's day is coming up so we'll just see what we got there she is all done and hung up in my shop out here um so i'll slap some paint on there i'm gonna paint it all gloss black and then i'll come back and do enamel on the hearts um tomorrow so there you go it takes uh nine horseshoes to do one of these and the dimensions on this thing or uh hang on i'll tell you 18 inches tall 13 inches wide and that's five size one 
steel horseshoes from Tennessee Farrier and Supply and four triple zero which are uh, pony shoes for the hearts so there you go guys it's not shabby not too hard to do looks beautiful when it's all painted up the paint's what really makes it pop so all you need is a or what i use is a little lincoln weld pack mig welder and then i got a oxygen settling torch set here which i'll roll it up nice and neat here in a minute i always put my hose in a back in the bag take my gauges off so they don't get damaged i hope you enjoyed the from the start to finish making it and uh i'll show you when it's all painted up so you can see exactly what it is thanks for watching thank you for watching guys so this project took five of these original size one Nordic Forge steel horseshoes. And it took four, uh, well, these are double zero, but I use triple zero on that. Uh, of course, these are pony shoes too, but it was triple zero that I used on the cross. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Peace.